I mean, most restaurants need three phase. Mm -hmm. That's. Yeah. I mean, most restaurants have. I mean, if, if it's there, it's there. It's a brand new building. Yeah. You I know? guess they did it just so that, you know, they have. It. I don't see what you need three phase for. Yeah, I've no. never seen a three phase fryer. Three phase. I right. might be wrong. That could be totally wrong. I'm not yeah. an electrician. I have no clue. Yeah. I well, no that's clue. that's something that we need to know then. I mean, I would. I thought that you know the contractor might. Like, I don't know. Can you look at it a little more and figure it out or something? That's definitely. For like a long amount. Three phase. Doesn't pull wire. So it's three no, phase. everything runs on two forty volt. Yeah. Oh, well, no. I'm just like, <laughs> yeah. You know, Every, a lot of commercial machines in one place. Maybe. Maybe like big, big. Maybe a like dry cleaning, some, maybe. Okay. Yeah, yeah, some like dry cleaner or something. So like that. that's that. So and that's the water right there, and it's being decreased, right? You said, and the line is running all the way into the bathroom, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah none, none of those J channels are secured or anything. This is, it's, it's weird. That just looks weird. Can you find that, can you get in contact with the architect? Maybe he'll, oh no. I will, I'm going to have them come meet us here. Another thing that I want in here is electrical outlets dotted through the ceiling everywhere. So if we put a, an island somewhere, I could just drop a line straight to the island to give it electricity. Oh, okay. And lights. Yeah. yeah, lights everywhere. We, have, we want a regular drop ceiling with regular drop ceiling lights, everything LED. But I want electrical outlets all up and down the ceiling so that anywhere that we put an island, a kiosk, anything, I could just drop a line right to it. But the big thing is building a platform here. Yeah. I want seven, yes. seven foot high underneath for storage and above is an, a closed office. Okay. With windows, maybe just a closed office up there. Up to here. W however, it works. Like if if we're gonna have, you know, step up, step up, step up, bathroom, exactly, yeah. then come over here, and then step up, step up, step up for the rest, something like that. I don't I know. I feel like why don't you put it at the same level, right? This is what I'm thinking. Same level as this. You put a platform over here, right? You just have to stay going up from here. And then over here, you can put it as a little storage, but you go in, the top is the toilet, and, okay. then, and then you level off. So instead of two levels, you just, instead of like three levels, you just do two levels. That would be fine too. Yeah, yeah, that would work. yeah just the stair, stairs starting I mean, here and going to the back. Yeah. Like you just clear this up. Yeah. You know, you have to. Yeah. You have to clear it. Yeah, I mean, even if you do here, this bathroom is going to yeah. be fucking. That's, that's at least like six, seven feet. Bathroom, you don't really be very high. I, I just, know. I want, I want the storage area so you don't have to duck. Yeah. And so I, seven, and, seven feet. and the, yeah. yeah, that's, that's as high as that needs to be. And then the rest, just a, an office up here. That's what I'm saying. Like, you, you can, you can almost divide this exactly in half. Yeah. Be fine. Yeah. So that, I added that to it. Um, this wall has to go. Gonna... Or at least I want a hole in that wall. I want to know what's behind it. I want to know well, why yeah, that light yeah, is back we, there. I think it's going to end up being torn down anyway, to be honest with yeah. you. Yeah. I like the exposed brick in between things. There's no reason to have everything drywall like that. Yeah, here, I, I don't care. I mean, it's going to be, you know. And then the package the unit. It's going to be up here anyway. So. The, right here, this, this is a, a, an opening right to the roof. I don't know what's up there. I would love to get access to the roof so we can see where the package unit would go, what kind, what we're looking at, how much size. Yeah, we have to install that. So like, we're going to do that ourselves. So we're going to have to have a contractor come in and fly that into, into onto the roof, wherever that is. I don't even know what, what roof that is. It would be the roof of the building. Yep. That, that's closer than the roof of the that's building. That's what it looks like. You know what? It's a setback. There's a, there's, it's a, setback. there's a smaller building back here, isn't there? There's a in setback the back? on the first floor. Yeah, there is. Is a setback on the first floor. Why don't we do this? Let's make a list of everything you need to do. Yep. Yeah. And then send me an email with all the information. I'll set up a site visit with the architect and the contractor that started this work. And I'll have them here the next time we come here. Perfect. That's so good. we can answer every single question yeah. and go to the roof and just... I'm, I made a small list for him. Good. Right between him and I. Good. Um, and he's going to look at that. He's going to work on that. Because construction is construction. I can care less about yeah, that. What I care about is the infrastructure. And this is also the thing. It's like... If we need to file anything for electric, we should just do it while we're doing our work anyway. It's the yeah. same thing. There's no mm -hmm. point of, you know, delaying another four months or yep. three months to get that done. Mm -hmm. We'll just factor that in. You know, as long as we give them a detailed list of what we, we're going to do and how long it's going to take us, yep. you know, then we could say, listen. We're, we're going to work what's uh, most, you know, cost effective and stuff like that. And the fast, you know, the fast. Yeah, yeah, of course, of course. We don't want to, you know, like 
having Kane do that is going to take months. They're, 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 it, it, uh, it'll take them, not that it'll take them a day, but it'll it'll yeah, take them a month to get to that day. That's all. Yo, I know. I've That's dealt with Kane before. Yeah, 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 so. does it pretty quickly. The city's inspection takes about a month. Yeah. No, yeah. that's what I'm saying. It's yeah. a whole process. Conrad moves. If you call them, you yeah. hammer them every day, they, eventually they come. Uh, he's right. The city, you got to get it approved. you got to have a good expedite or somebody yeah. can just go get it done. Shall you try and use your... Um, um, is this a pipe pipe? What else, Paul? What else did we miss? So I have... <coughs> right? This so, is it. What is This small one? That must be vent. Yeah, this is airport. Yeah, that's that's the on top of that's on top of the the sink drain. So that's vent. Yeah. But yeah, all, all this needs to be redone. That's yeah. that can just be a sump pump, just a regular sump pump. No, well, if we move this up, you don't need any of that. No, well, I, I be we're down. still lower than ground level. I still want a sump pump down here. I don't know why this, oh. this standing water is even here. This could be coming up from the ground, for all I know. I, I, I oh. would feel safer if there is at least some kind of sump pump here. Okay. So just a regular sump pump that's pumping into the stack, but everything needs to be above the main stack, okay. so it's, it's all just gravity. Yeah. So the... The elevator, right? Yeah. And the and the front. Those those units are cheap. We found one for like three grand. Three four thousand. If we get I, an, a, one really that's good have, enough for a pallet of uh, equipment, maybe four yeah. or five thousand dollars. I really have no experience with this. They're, oh, they're they're like throw it in, bolt it to the floor, yeah. and connect it's electricity, really and you're done. Do you think that's gonna be three fifty? No. No. Okay. No. no. That's two two forty. Regular two forty. Yeah, I mean, if you pop it in right here and you put the system, there's a system that comes yeah, with it. If you yeah, throw yeah. it out on that wall, you get it out of the way. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Perfect it would fit here perfectly. Yep. I didn't want to do the ramp, remember? Uh, we it takes a lot, about, it takes a lot of space. I would put a whole different concept here. Not only that, you can't even get the angle that they want. Yeah, they want a really light this angle. You would have like to go back and forth like four times. Yeah, exactly. Oh, shit. That yeah. It needs to be a very, very slight angle for, for handicap ramps. Yeah. Um... <clears throat> And I think I think that's that's Although, mostly it. Uh, where's the cutoff for the, the sprinklers? I don't know. The sprinkler control for in here? Is no, it the one we saw on the right over there in the back, the red one? That looked like it just capped off to nothing. Yeah. yeah that that like so I can't, you can't drop the sprinklers if it's like if it's not closed off. You can't even see where the, the, the pipe is going. Yeah. Well, there has to be a cutoff, so it's not in the space, but there has to be a cutoff. Well, no, but that's what I'm saying. It's not yeah, see, this is a standpipe for a, a, a fire for a fire hose. Yeah. Yeah. We could put an emergency fire hose yeah. on the wall, and that's the standpipe to yeah. it. That's what I'm saying. This goes something. This goes in the room. In this fucking okay, alleyway. No, that's that's just for a water supply. That's for a fire hose. So if something happens in there. Yep. <clears throat> you know, you don't have to run it from the street, especially if it's in the back. All right. I guess we'll. You know, the next appointment will get a lot more info. Yeah, we need the other guys here. The guy who, who, who designed this place. <laughs> well, it's still slanted. This should go in the corner. Well, that's much lighter than expected. <laughs> <laughs> that's what they built with. Yeah, this is exactly what it is. Yeah, I'd, I'd rather two by four, but that's that's all they ever use. No, you, that's what they use nowadays. No, you can't use two by four in, in in New York. You can't in Manhattan. No, really, for fire hazard. Mm. So, uh, which would make sense, yeah. <clears throat> all right. Next time, I'll make sure we get access to the setback. I'll make sure we yeah, get access to yeah, the just, just uh, the, ball, the water. Ball. The electric, uh, the sprinkler system. Do you know what? We might have keys. Should we try to get into the building? What else? Yeah, I, I would like to see our meters. There's a bunch of keys out there. I'm oh, um, flooring. I, can we just uh, grind this flat and uh, buff this? You know, fill that in, grind it all flat, and just buff the concrete nice. Concrete. Maybe epoxy paint if, if needed, but I think just buff it and, and polish it and then be done. I like the concrete floor. Yeah? You don't like the... 
There's no, no need for flooring when we have a nice hard concrete floor. You can't, you can't do concrete. You can what? You can do a little bit, but you can't, you can't smooth it out that much. You know what I mean? You get a grinder. Get one of those concrete grinders. Yeah, yeah, but I said you can fill it in, but if you want to cover it, it's for what, the concrete? The floor, yeah. What about it? If you want to make it a little thicker, just to fill everything over. Mm -hmm. If you want to put a skim coat, yeah, you can't do that. Don't what? No, we don't. We don't want no, to we do don't that. want to put a skim oh. coat. We want we want to grind it flat, you, grind you it smooth, patch up the it, stuff, and polish it. it. Yeah. Just just put the sealer on it yeah, to make yeah. it pretty. That's it. This concrete floor. Once you polish it, once you seal the yeah, like the what a Home Depot looks yeah, like, yeah, you know, exactly. the the warehouse look. Yeah. I don't know. I I didn't gain any more information than I did yesterday. Yeah. No, it's just for you. This visit was for you. Oh. I told him to come so that I give you a better I mean, I, list of what to do. So I don't know about an the upgraded list. So we'll speak. There's going to be a. We, we'll we'll, we'll probably have visits. to get an two more visits. We'll have to get an HVAC contractor that yeah. has the licenses to fly a unit on the roof. Yep. Because there's no way you're going to get a crane and fly that. No. <laughs> yeah. A 13, 1300 pound unit on the roof. No. So we have to figure that out with the, the HVAC guy. The electrical, though. All I got is more electrical outlet from Park today. <laughs> well, we yeah, we need to figure out what, what's on, what's up with the incoming service. Yep. That yeah. that needs to be converted to single phase where somehow. Where is it being powered on from right now? There are lights in there. Yes, where, where, I, that's also that my question. Make sense. Who's paying for those lights Who's, to be running yeah. right now? Where where is that going to? Just the common space, I guess. Just what? Just the common space. Mm -hmm. The building's just paying yeah. for those yeah. lights. Yeah. The hallway lights and stuff like that. There's not a lot of lights there. There's, there's, I mean, they're all yeah, there's no, there's no lights in there. That's <laughs> oh, just yeah. like some emergency light type stuff. Yeah. I think we yeah. could even leave them in and on as night lights. Yep. Well, you run as much power out of that as possible. <laughs> <laughs> you know? I forgot to record, by the way. Oh, you, you're recording? <laughs> yeah. I started halfway through. Oh, did you? <laughs> When I realize, I'm like, okay, you got it, fuck it. <laughs> well, there's gonna be a lot more visits anyway, guys. I told Louis, if we're gonna get this uh, spot for real, like, uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna make like five, five real visits, you know. Take our time. I just need to talk to somebody that knows, small, that knows a, something. Yeah, exactly. It's not a small project, too. Yeah, it's a big project. Yeah. Like, just getting uh, the HVAC up there, that's gonna take a I lot bet of it. Time and money. But I bet that's something simple, quick, and easy for one of the contractors that does it all day long here. Yeah. yeah. When they exactly. know what to do, they know how to get one, it two, done. Three, yeah. yeah it, it'll be nothing it's when just we hire the who right can guy. You find, who can you trust? Man. Who and who will answer their fucking phone exactly. or give you a call back? There you go. Like it's, it's never. It's never with contractors. It's never really been about work. It's about getting reliable ones. Yes. They don't fucking exist. We tell them to show up at 11, and they don't show up till 3. <laughs> I'm, I'm not, no, no, I, I told him what floor I wanted in our shop, and he comes with a completely different floor because it was on sale. Fuck that, no. I told him I want resi resilient tile flooring, resilient lino um, linoleum flooring yeah. in the office. He comes back with some kind of clapboard shit that was on sale. <laughs> Fuck that, no. <laughs> Give me something like a six month period where yeah, we refer yeah. people to oh, the new store. The reno, yes. the reno and stuff will take you at least four months. I also want to see how quick, once we change all of our social media presence to that address, how quick does this place go dead over here? Yeah. Is it instant? All of a sudden everybody's going to the new place? Definitely not instant. Because <laughs> how many people are going to still have our old address? Exactly. Just previous customers? Yep. Oh, just a walk by, right? Just the people who like walking by. We don't have that we much don't of that. Many foot traffic. Yeah, like real actual foot traffic is almost. They're just they're just stupid questions. Yeah. Ever. Bye guys. Bye, sonny. Bye. 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 See you later. The AC worked out, by the way, really well. Which one? The one that I showed you, the, the uh, capacitor. Oh yeah, it's just a capacitor, yeah. right? Cool. What's up? Uh, I sent you the list. All right, cool. Yeah. Question. Yes, good sir. Oh, that smells good. Mm. Thanks, I know I do. Steve. Not you. Uh, can you. <laughs> <laughs> can you rip me apart? Yeah, sure. So, this isn't something that's 
Jet that is exclusive to independent repair, if you take a look at this, exclusive independent repair is actually getting even